What's up guys, Mark from Wandering Souls back with a new video. Um, this time um, something different. Um, a while back I was seeing uh, an, uh, a YouTube video from Barnal of Good Music Promotions and he was talking about um, books, showing off books, metal books, etc. etc. Um, not so long after um, The Dark Path came with um, a really nice video uh, with a book out uh, about a USBM and uh, combining some CDs and uh, talk about that. Um, yeah, it was a really interesting video as well. Um, but I can recall I did in the past some uh, book reviews and um, well, those two videos kind of inspired me to pick that up a bit again. Um, I have done five or six videos in the past about some metal books I reviewed. And um, I thought it was a nice opportunity to um, do another one again. Um, not so long ago, I picked up a few books uh, again, and um, the first one um, I finished off not so uh, reading not so long ago. I thought, well, um, why not talk about a book here and um, what I think of it, and etc. etc. Um, well, the first book uh, I'm gonna talk about, I just do one book per video so that it's, it's pretty easy to follow and um, um, just um, wanted to say that beforehand and um, let's talk a bit about a book and um, yeah, I will save the other book, I have another book to review but I'll save that for another time. Um, I'm not finished reading either of the, that one, so I just decided to do this one. Um, anyways, I'm t um, I've had the book from Bruce Dickinson, and um, this is called What Does This Button Do? An autobiography. Uh, it's written by the band himself, um, because we all know Bruce Dickinson. Um, he is the singer and frontman for uh, Iron Maiden, of course. Um, yeah, really, really, really nice uh, uh, read here, talking about um, uh, how he's, he's growing up, his family situation, um, uh, his youth, go, growing up to his uh, student time and stuff like that. And um, yeah, you kind of see the development of um, Bruce in a way. Um, his, his love for, uh, for artistic things and his, his, his uh, love for fencing and his love for um, yeah, singing of course and a uh, funny thing is to read that he was, first started out as drummer um, it didn't work out for him very well um, at start so um, yeah, later found out that he could sing also as well and um, Finally going into his first bands and um, it was late teens, early 20s and um, after that uh, there were some things going on and um, he ended up in Samson which was a British heavy metal band which also featured a uh, Thunderstick, uh, ex Iron Maiden drummer um, but yeah, really nice story with the experience about the band and in general, and um, which actually uh, lead up to uh, Rod Smallwood, the manager from Iron Maiden, and um, yeah, eventually he uh, ended up in uh, Iron Maiden um, because um, yeah, Paul Diano had to be replaced. Um, yeah, he ended up there. Of course, he the, he talks about um, um, doing tours and recording all the albums and um, yeah, experience with Maiden here and there and uh, the recording situations and stuff like that um, and doing still some sports outside that and uh, how he enjoys his time and stuff like that. Um, of course he goes on uh, with his story and he's talking about becoming a pilot and um, as well um, um, getting all the licenses and uh, still doing some fencing and um, yeah doing some other stuff as well as beer brewing he's talking about a trooper beer um, 
Yeah, he does a lot of other stuff, also some TV work and radio work, and um, it's a really diverse stuff, and leading up to the the last album, um, and um, the Book of Souls album, and of course, um, yeah, he's peered with his throat cancer, he also talks about a few... Uh, a lot of pages well for a couple of um, let's say how many pages well it's pretty afterwards let's see how many pages he talks about that well, pretty much about page 20 25 he talks about his cancer his, his treatment how he felt about it uh, how he is going on uh under the treatment um yeah it's really i i have to say this book is pretty detailed and stuff um he, he, he doesn't talk about everything he's not talking about wives children and that kind of stuff just the man himself um his his, his, his uh, music career his solo career um, yeah, his, his love for sports, singing, uh, beer brewing, uh, flying, uh, fencing, um, you know, that kind of stuff he talks about in this book. Um, yeah, it's really interesting read, and I have to say this, is, even if you are not an Iron Maiden fan, um, it definitely is really worth, uh, reading, actually. Um, it's not only about metal, uh, it, it is metal in the book, but it's... It's not like um, the whole book is about Iron Maiden. No, that's not really the case. It's just about Bruce Dickinson himself. He, of course, Maiden is in the story, um, and Samson is in the story, but it's it's um, not the whole book is about Maiden, for example. Um, like I said, there's different kind of stuff in there, and it's really interesting to read, and sometimes he's really detailed um, certain stuff, uh, what someone said, or what, uh, when it was, or stuff like that. Um, that's really interesting to read. Um, yeah, he writes it in a really nice way. And um, yeah, I kept I kept on reading this book, actually. Uh, I've read this in a period of a couple of weeks, but I, if I read it all the time, I think I could read this within a day. Um, so that's how comfortable it is read. I'm not a super big reader, but um, stuff like that. I, I really like this. I really love to read uh, biographies and history and stuff like that. Uh, songs about metal, um, with books about metal. And um, yeah, it's really interesting read. Uh, like I said, um, even people without the metal scene could read this. Um, it's, 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 it's a kind of book for everything, and that's probably otherwise also. It sold pretty good, actually. Uh, like I said, it's number one in the Sunday Times. Um, so it's really well... Uh, it's really sold very well, let's put it that way. And um, yeah, really interesting read. Um, definitely see a different size of Bruce. Uh, some size you, you didn't know. And um, yeah, really, really, really... really um, really interesting um, read um, yeah really uh, nice book what does this button do by Bruce Dickinson um, yeah fantastic book and uh, definitely can recommend you if you find it just uh, yeah pick it up and read it it's not that expensive as well and uh, it's, it's a fun read um, really enjoyed this book so um, yeah, Bruce Dixon, what does his button do? An autobiography. Um, yeah, really nice book. So, yeah, guys, um, that's me rambling about a book. Um, in short, um, I didn't want to make it too long. It's just a really nice video. And um, hope you um, have interest in the book. Um, not, yeah, it's like I said, you, you, you learn to know Bruce in other ways except then in maiden and um yeah really fun fun read um uh, and definitely can recommend you guys this book so um that's it guys if you got something to say put it in the comment section down below 
and um, hope to see you guys back with another video I've got more videos in the planning so um, don't worry um, I'm still here and um, yeah that's it guys so um, thanks for tuning in hope to see you guys next time um, if you want to see more of my videos you're also uh, it would really be it is really really cool if you subscribe so um, cheers and have a great